And today in this video, what I want to do is a review of the Pole Star Pole Dancing Pole. Now, if you've been following me or watching any of my YouTube videos, then you probably know that I do a lot of reviews on these no-brand pole dancing poles because I'm trying to make people aware that they're not all built the same. They may look alike, but they're not built the same. I have bought poles that the chrome has chipped off and cut me while I'm dancing on it. The pole metal was made so thin that when I inverted on it, it bent. Um, I've had the bearings freeze up and go bad within a month after paying a bunch of money for it, and the pole wouldn't even spin anymore, along with a ton of other problems. If you watch my videos, you probably know, and I've went through a lot of what to look for and what not to look for and things like that to try and help you buy a good no-brand dance pole if you're not going to buy a brand name. That is, of course. So you can get one that's safe, that you can use at home for a workout. You don't have to worry about it coming loose from the ceiling or um, any problems like that. It's completely safe to use at home for exercise, for inverting or whatnot. And so this um, Pole Star Pole is sort of a new breed in that they've named it or given it the name um, Pole Star. But I noticed that it's just another no brand name pole like any other that you see out there on um, Amazon or eBay. Now what was so attractive about this pole that I liked is that it came with a free pull bag. Now as you know, no brand poles typically don't come with pull bags to carry around your pole because um, these are portable removable poles. And um, so and even on my site when I sell the no brand um, pole, it doesn't come with a pull bag. You have to buy that separately. And um, I was curious how they could keep the price down so low and throw in the pull bag because for me, my cost to get a good quality pole were just too high to include the pull bag and sell it for the same prices. It's, it's been incredibly difficult trying to get that feature included in for everybody and, and get the price lower. Because um, it just costs a lot of money and metal to make good quality poles. So my, I was curious, with this pole star pole, how did they get this pole for $139.99 with the pole bag? I paid $139.99 for it. And um, is it actually a good quality pole in comparison to a lot of the other no brands that I see out there on Amazon or eBay or, you know, wherever? Or even the one on my site. So I'm going to unbox it today. Here it is in front of me. And we're just going to see what's inside here and how good it really is. All right, so we're going to open it up. They look identical, so unless you know what you're looking for, you could easily buy a cheap pole and then get it home and find out you've completely wasted your money. And if you don't know anything about no brand poles, um, you can click up here in the video in the uh, corner here and click the link above, and you will find another video um, that talks about all the different no brand comparisons. And then I do X poll reviews and stuff like that too. So um, I'll leave that link below for you as well. Okay, so we opened it up. And this is what I see inside, right here. 
cute pullback. I love that it has the pullback inside of it, and this is how it's boxed. Now, immediately what I see that I don't like is that these are just loosely thrown around in here. These um, pieces are quite heavy, and just to have them loosely flying around the boxes at shipping, I don't really think that's such a good idea. I've never seen it shipped this way before, and as you can tell, this tube is actually bent. It's been putting a lot of pressure on the dome, and if I paid, you know, a lot of money for this, I definitely wouldn't want uh, metal pressing up against metal when it was shipping, you know, but it doesn't look damaged, so. Okay, so we have wonderful pullback first. Um, this pullback looks very fun and inviting. Um, it, I have a lot of experience with Expo pullbacks, and so this one actually um, seems like it's pretty good quality. I've never used it. Feels a little bit padded, which is nice. Um, and it looks actually really, really similar to the X pull bag on the inside in that it has, um, you know, four different tubes at the bottom. You could probably put your long tube on this side and your other longer um, main pull on the other side. And then, of course, these would hold your extensions. Um, immediately, what I see that is not nearly as good quality as the X pull bag is that you have little pieces, like the little extensions are only about this tall when you get these portable poles and they're tiny and in the x pole they have um, little velcro loops that hold the tiny pieces in in different areas that you might want to choose um, because depending on your ceiling height you have, may have more extensions or less extensions so you need a bag that will be flexible for those different pole pieces and this bag is not that flexible. It will hold the pieces that come in here but if you add pieces to it or try to hold smaller pieces you're going to have you're gonna have a, a little bit of difficulty on this one, but it's still I would I would use it for my portable, no wrappable, easy. So. And that's the bag to it. It looks like the um, dome case is underneath the dome, but I can't get that out right now. So we have the instructions here underneath. It says pole star, uh, commercial studio grade fitness dance pole, and it looks like there's a little uh, it says. With the red thing here. Oh, it's not a DVD. When I bought it, um, I expected this to be a DVD because it actually says instructional video on it, but it's not. It's a little flippy card, got a little QR code on the back, and it has a uh, domain name on the pole, or domain name to go to, but it doesn't um, give you an actual video included. So that's really deceiving right out of the gate. Um, this is your typical instruction manual, on to manually instruct it. It's pretty normal from what I see, it looks pretty good. Only difference is it says, you know, of course they branded the full star on the top. So we'll get to the video in a second. This right here um, is going to be a main pole, and there will be two of them in um, any no brand quality pole that you buy that's um, you know, all metal construction. If you don't have two main pole beams, you've bought something weird. Okay, so this one would be probably main pole A. You have the adjuster bar that screws out, and of course the nut that spins on the adjuster bar. That's pretty normal. Um, it actually looks like pretty good quality chrome. Um, I don't see any immediate problems with it. The nut spins pretty nice. The adjuster bar spins pretty nice, so this looks pretty good so far, actually. Um, this is the second main pole that will screw onto the, the uh, first main pole with the adjuster bar. And these two pole pieces, it's really important that they're made with good quality metal and that they're thick, um, because if you buy one that isn't that thick or made with good quality metal, you could be inverting on these, or if you're a heavier lady and you're doing this for exercise to lose weight, it could actually bend the pole. I've done it. So you want a pole that's made of thick metal. And this one actually is made of okay metal. It's um, hollow inside, of course, and I will give you a, um, a better shot of this. But um, it seems
seems pretty good. It's not the best that I've ever seen. I've actually seen a lot thicker metal, but I've also seen thinner metal um, in the same case. So I would consider, in comparison to all the no brand poles that I've seen, this one's right in the middle. It's not poor quality. It doesn't look to be super thin. I've seen them thinner, but this is um, definitely not as thick as I've seen them come either. So I would say it's a medium grade pole. So um, I'm not sure what they said the rate weight on was on this one. I'll have to look it up for you and put it below the video. Um, this is going to be the little extension, of course. This is the 125mm. Looks pretty good. Again, um, same thickness as the other uh, main pole had. Then we will have the 250mm is what this one will be. And most of these affordable poles they're all going to say it's, it comes with a 125mm extension and it comes with a 250mm extension. You're going to find that across the board um, for all poles. Whether they're cheaply made or nicely made with good qualities, they all look the same and they basically all have the same similar types of poles. They're just built as far as quality goes differently. So this one right here you can see that um, I'll give you again an up close shot of this. But the manufacturing in this isn't very consistent. You can see how this one's made a little bit thicker and this one is made a little bit thinner. Um, and that's not necessarily a good or bad thing. You just want it to be as thick as possible. This is definitely, I've seen a lot thicker poles. My um, no brand poles can be a lot uh, thicker than this, so. Um, but again, medium grade, not bad. I've seen it. They feel pretty heavy. Um, I can say that I would probably feel safe exercising on this pole. So, um, based on the, the weight of the metal that I feel when I'm picking it up as compared to others. So, um, okay, so this is the adjuster cover. And inside of the adjuster cover, you're going to see the... Um, a little piece that sits on top of the adjuster bar. And then this, of course, slides up the pole. For those of you who don't know about these poles, um, it's gonna slide up the pole, and when this screws out to the ceiling, this little piece is gonna slide up and cover up the black part so that your pole looks nice. Now, the biggest thing that you wanna remember about these adjuster covers like this on these affordable no brands is that, um, they're at the top of the pole um, when you adjust it. And so it's really important that these are really good quality because, and that this piece that it comes inside of it is made of metal. And in this case, this one is metal. I've seen these made of plastic before and you don't want the ones made of plastic. They're horrible and they're dangerous. And here's why. Um, when the adjuster cover is at the top of the pole and you do a lot of pole climbing um, and climbing the pole, it doesn't matter if you're just pole dancing for fun or exercising, you're gonna wanna climb that pole. And the chances of you grabbing onto this adjuster cover and pulling yourself up the pole on it is highly likely. And so you need this thing to be tightly secured at the top. And what I don't like about this pole is that you can see, and I will give you a close up. of this pole and um, right here on the side you can see that the metal is very thin and that it's kind of got some chisel marks and stuff like that and it's not necessarily a bad thing it's just that I would be leery that that little piece tiny piece of metal might break with my body weight on it if I put my entire body weight on it so that's kind of a little bit of a concern this is great made of metal feels very heavy good job Next, we have the base. And the base goes on the bottom of the pole. You probably already guessed. Nice that it's put in bubble paper. I do like that. And um, this is a different, I've never seen this type of um, base piece before. Now the base is very critical in that if this is bad, um, um, sorry, I was just having thoughts. <laughs> Um, then your pole, this is where the bearings are, and if this isn't good quality, then you could buy your pole, and if your bearings freeze up in the first month, it would be because this piece right here is not very good. And in fact, it doesn't really want to turn that well, which is not good. Um, I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to my studio real quick and get um, a pole base from uh, 
the no brands that I sell on my website. I'm going to go get a, a base there to compare this to because I see some things wrong and I can't really describe it to you without having the base and I didn't know I was going to need one. So hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I went to the studio and grabbed a couple of my different bases so that I could show you what's so different about this Polestar base. Um, and first off, I want to note that um, it's made differently on the bottom. It seems to be this metal, one metal um, piece crimped in here. And um, really, that's kind of spooky because um, most of the other bases that I see on the bottom, and again, I'll give you a close-up of this. As you can tell that um, on the base, you're going to see four screws in this one. This is the one that I saw on my website. Um, and on this one, you're going to see that it's just one um, bolt. And the only thing that I see is that um, I'm not quite sure how sturdy that is, really. Uh, it seems like four screws would uh, be a lot more constructed. And there's an extra piece of metal on the top that you can see for extra stability and I would want, what happens is inside there's a base stem and you want that stem to be very secure because um, you know when you're swinging on your pole you don't want um, you want that base stem to be sturdy because that's what's holding the pole upright part of it anyway okay so there's the base stem right here okay and as you can see it's made of solid metal okay now that's the one on my uh, website this one, um, let's see if we can't get it off here to show you the base stem. So I'm unscrewing it. Ooh. <coughs> okay, scratch that. It doesn't come off of this model. Um, you can't take it off, and that's actually really bad because um, if you ever did need to replace the bearings on this one, and I guarantee you that this won't spin well because this just doesn't want to spin already just with my hands. It's not a free-flowing bearing and there's no way to replace the bearing because of course it doesn't come off. Um, the affordable no brand of course uh, does remove and then as you can see there's a bearing in the bottom and I've never had to replace the bearings on my uh, good quality um, ones that I sell now but before um, I did start selling poles and I was buying a lot of different no gram poles to try to figure out which one was best to teach classes, I bought a lot of um, poles that had bad bearings in them and they would freeze up on me in a month. And so I did have to replace that bearing on the bottom and do some other alterations to make the pole work. But you don't want to have to deal with any of that when you're buying a brand new pole. It should just work, right? So anyways, and if you notice here, I'll show you this. I can like do this with my hands. And see how easy that spins? It's very free flowing, spins on its own after I let go. Pull star base. It won't spin at all. And I'm using the exact same pressure. In fact, if I want it to spin, I actually have to force it. And when I force it to spin, it's very rigid and rocky, like it's not smooth at all. And I can hear this. like noise. I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks like it sounds like something. It's just having a hard time spinning. And note that the locking screws are all the way out when I'm trying to spin this. So that is not the problem why this is not wanting to spin at all. So um, I this kills the deal for me. Would never recommend this pole. Would never buy this pole. Came brand new and it's not going to spin well at all. This one feature makes it totally not worth it for me. I wouldn't waste my money. Um, otherwise, on the base, it does have good quality rubber. I always recommend good quality rubber to people so that the base won't slide. You don't want to 
base that slides across the floor. And I've actually seen um, other brands where the rubber isn't attached well or it's a harder rubber and it slides really easy. And you don't want that because then it just, the, it doesn't stay installed as well because um, it's not gripping the, the floor with proper rubber. So you gotta watch the rubber on the bottom of these bases. This one actually has good, good rubber. It's just, gosh, that piece totally blows. Boom. Well, we go ahead and review the dome. Now the dome is extra wide. I love that it's extra wide when you buy these poles. You want a wide dome. Um, they come in like a couple different sizes. And I've actually seen really good domes with quality bearings. Um, again, with quality rubber on the back side, you're watching for that small, that um, soft white rubber that will grip the roof really well. And I've seen smaller domes and they have the good bearings, they have the good rubber, but the dome is small. And the smaller the dome, um, it puts a different kind of pressure on the roof. You want something wide enough to span two ceiling joists, that's the best. Um, other ones only span one, and it's not that it makes them, they just don't install as safely as ones with bigger domes. So this one had the extra wide dome, which is an awesome feature. Has the great rubber on the backside that's soft, so again, don't slip on the roof. I've seen poles where they make the rubber hard and cheap. And again, when it's installed on the roof, you don't want this baby sliding. You're going to be swinging on it, okay? It's got to have good rubber. So A plus on the dome. The only thing I see that I don't like um, is that there's a bunch of chisel marks right here. And I don't want my chrome chiseled up when I buy it brand new. Um, again, I'll give you a close-up of this. And, uh, as you can see, there's just, it's a bunch of chisel marks. I'm not quite sure why they had to dent the chrome like that or chisel it up, but they did. Um, and the dome is the piece that slides on right here in case you uh, didn't know how that worked. Okay, so um, the bearing seems okay on the top and this one, it's just the base. And then we have a little, um, I like this a lot better. Uh, the reason I think this is cheap is because um, the domes are kind of curve shaped and like in the X-pole cases, the case is curve shaped also with the dome so that it has a nice fit. And this is just a flat piece. I'm sure it would probably still work. Just looks cheaper. Zipper just broke. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay. Don't. I don't. Um, I wouldn't recommend this pole case because, um, like, I can't even use mine. It won't even zip up anymore, and I didn't put that much pressure on it. But it does look like if it would have zipped, um, of course, the dome would probably fit. Not nearly as this. It's an okay case. Um, oof, I've been by this pole so far. I thought it would be good at first as I started. Um, here's their little pole cake uh, tool kit. Um, this is pretty standard. You're going to see two of these um, two stick metal pieces, and you're going to see a little. It's a little Allen wrench, is what it is. And basically, these little Allen wrenches go in the bottom, and these are the little nuts that you turn to screw them in to make it static, or the pole stays um, solid. You know, it doesn't spin, is what static means, okay? And so, oh, interesting. As you can tell, when I screw these screws all the way in, let me get them all the way in, be sure they're Screw it all the way in, it actually still moves a little. Um, it's supposed to stay completely static. And then of course when you unscrew them, um, it's supposed to turn. But in this case, because the bearings are already bad the way that I bought it, it does turn, but I have to really force it. It does not want to turn. So I'm going to have to call the company I bought it from already and get a replacement. So um, the only other thing left to review of this Polestar pole is its instructional installation video. I'll go check that out right now. I'm going to go type in the domain name. I can't pop in a DVD and watch it with you. I was going to. But I was going to go pop in the domain name and see what 
uh, happens. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back and I popped in the um, red star instructional video and um, watched. And really, there is no install video. I'll tell you what happened, and this kind of bothers me. I don't know whether to be honored or I'm a little taken aback and shocked right now on how to respond, so I'm just going to say that. But this poll video actually forwards to one of my YouTube videos, and I did not know it was going to do that, and they did not tell me they were doing this either. So um, this pretty little card goes to my affordable um, no brand pull install for the no brand pull that I sell on my website. Um, and they're using my video to tell people how to install their poll, only I have nothing to do with their poll. And um, so as a result, I'm going to take the video off of YouTube and only put it on my website for my clients who buy my poll so people don't mistakenly I was just trying to help everybody out there install their poll, but I don't want my name or anything really associated with a company that um, first doesn't make good quality polls, and then secondly, they didn't ask my permission, and I feel like that's kind of sneaky and fraudulent. So, um, but again, maybe I should just be honored that somebody did that. I did enough good job, and they're using my video, and it's a good video. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure how to react, but that's what happens. So if you type in this www.pollstarpoll.com, you're going to get forwarded to their YouTube account. And in their YouTube account, you're going to find my video and then a bunch of other people's videos, three other people's videos, where they have taken their pole dance moves and basically they're saying, yeah, this kit comes with, we're going to teach you how to do pole dance moves for free. Well, they just took other people's videos off of YouTube and then put it in their YouTube channel and then... Um, Basically, this domain name is pushing people to that channel, if that makes sense. So I'm going to delete mine out of there, and below this video, I'm going to give you links where you can see the screenshots of um, where this DVD goes, these links go, and things like that, in case you want this information um, about this company and uh, stuff. So anyway, that completes my um, full star dance poll review for this $139.99 dance poll that I, I bought. And um, my final recommendation is don't buy the poll. The bearings already froze up in the bottom. Um, otherwise, the metal was in good shape. The rubber was in good shape. I see a lot of good quality features, but the base totally sucks. It totally needs changed out. Um, I don't trust the bearing in the top now because the bearing is no good. I don't like that the chrome has been chipped up in the manufacturing process. I don't like that this broke the first time I tried to use it when I barely put any pressure on it. And um, I don't like the way it was shipped to me because um, I just have loose pieces thrown around in the middle of it. So I would rather pay my money on a more expensive pull, even if it um, doesn't come with a case, um, knowing that it's going to be good quality, it's going to last, that I can invert it on it, and it's going to be safe for me. Um, getting a dance pole is an investment in your health and in your life, and you don't want to go the cheap route because it's a risk. If you get a pull, you're going to spend a lot of money, and then it won't last you, or it's just not safe to dance on. So if you like this video, please leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Um, it helps me a lot to get the word out so that people don't waste their money on things they don't need to be buying. And then also you can find links to my other videos up here in the top. You can find a video to uh, more pole dance reviews for um, affordable note brands. I'll give you a link also to the um, x pole installation or review in case you want to look at that. And of course below you're going to find where you can buy um, both uh, x poles or my affordable no brand poles um, that give you free dance lessons, free dance workouts when you buy a kit from me and that link is below to get that. So. Um, please support this video, let me know what you think, and you have a fabulous day.